A uh, while back there was a video or a movie called Super Size Me where a guy ate McDonald's for 30 days and gained a bunch of weight, had a bunch of health issues, so on and so forth. What I'm going to try and do is that I never eat at home. I always eat out on the road, so I always eat fast food or at restaurants. I'm going to see if it's possible actually if you control your calories to actually lose weight eating fast food in 30 days. And I'll be keeping track every day of my calorie intake and um, what I eat. And I will be taking my weight every day and then updating it on a daily or weekly basis. We'll see what happens and see if it's possible to actually lose weight without any exercise, just normal everyday routine, just walking around, maybe walking a little more extra, but no serious physical sports activities or riding a bike or anything like that. So let me find out where I'm at right now today. I'm gonna to weigh myself right now. All right, scales on the carpet, so I gotta move it here. We're looking at 241.4. So that will be my starting. Today is Thursday, March 25th of 2015. So let's see what happens. Got a iced tea from McDonald's. It's about six calories because there's no sugar in it. A McWrap is the sweet chili chicken crispy. This one has 540 calories. And then medium french fries, which gives me uh, 340 calories. Tastes pretty good. The only bad thing here is probably the fries. <laughs> it's day two, uh, about 12 o'clock. Haven't eaten anything yet. Grilled chicken sandwich on a wheat bun. What I did this time is I went with a side salad instead of french fries. You see right there, it's only 20 calories for the salad. The dressing, I'm not sure yet. And then the Big Mac. Five Meal number two on day number three, Taco Bell again. Now it's uh, time to eat the soft taco. Day number three, meal number three, I went to Jimmy John's, got myself a club ham sandwich. I think 700 something calories, somewhere around there. All right, so here it is. It's the uh, Carl's Jr. Teriyaki Turkey Burger, about 430 calories. Um, and then also the fry zucchini, which is also about another 400 calories or so. Here's meal number two for day four. Um, I actually went and got a medium, which looks like a large to me, uh, Diet Coke. I haven't ate soda for these four days, so I'm going to at least get a little flavor of that. Um, and then this is a teriyaki bowl. It could use a little more flavor, so I, I might just use this dipping sauce that came with it. Day number four, last meal, two Wendy's spicy chicken snap wraps, 340 calories each, and uh, unsweetened iced tea. Here is my first meal for day five. It's uh, small orange juice. Got my parfait yogurt. My favorite breakfast item in the whole world, a McDonald's Egg McMuffin. I got the normal one, not the Egg White Delight one. I will try that one later. It's not that bad, I've had it before, so. All right, this is the first time I'm actually having a parfait. It's 150 calories with the granola. This tastes like yogurt with granola. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm at Denny's here for my second meal on day five. Um, it's not quite fast food, but similar to it. Not the best thing for you. It's a chicken avocado sandwich. It's got some grilled chicken in it, some lettuce, pico de gallo, avocado on a wheat bun. Looks pretty good. I just finished my meal here at Denny's uh, in Grapevine. Uh, this is uh, my second meal for day five. It was a chicken avocado sandwich. 550 calories with a side of vegetables. Pretty good. Um, Still a little hungry, but that's part of when you're reducing calories, you're going to be hungry for a while, I guess. All right, dinner for day five. I got the chicken pita from Jack in the Box, about 350 calories. I got three egg rolls, about 150 calories each, and then a couple sauces. I don't know if I'll use them or not. Um, and another iced tea. It's pretty darn good. in and out French fries, in and out cheeseburger with onion. All right, day six, meal number one. Just ate it in and out. They, uh, I ordered a single cheeseburger with onion and fries and a nice tea is what I had. But they gave me a double-double, and that's gonna happen at fast food places. About 10% of the time, in my experience, they mess up your order. So what I did to compensate for that is just eat half of my french fries to bring my total calories on this meal down to 950 calories. Day number six, meal number two is El Pollo Loco. Let's see what I'm gonna get in here. Six meal number two is the chicken enchiladas, el pollo loco, 460 calories. 
right, so it's about three o'clock here on day six. Uh, I had that meal at In and Out uh, about three hours ago, three and a half hours ago, and I'm actually not too hungry. I feel a little hungry, but I'm not too hungry. Uh, my next meal I'm gonna eat with my crew here in about uh, about eight o'clock or so. There's that oatmeal. It's pretty good. Um, still a little hungry, but hopefully this smoothie, which is still full, that uh, um, it's gonna fill me up. So before I eat here in another about three hours. Day seven, meal three, IHOP. Got two scrambled eggs, two slices of bacon, two pancakes with no syrup. It does come with their butter. And it's about 670 calories, and I'm just gonna have water tonight. All right, just finished meal three on day seven. It's been officially a week now. Meal one on day eight. Spring rolls, fresh spring rolls from a Thai restaurant with uh, chicken inside and the dipping sauce. Day eight, meal two, Arby's. Roast beef gyro here at Arby's. It's about, I believe, 560 calories for this sandwich. And they got a two piece potato wedges, about 260 calories. Day eight, meal number three, went to McDonald's for our final meal of the day. All right, last few bites. Mm. Meal number one. Okay, I figured it out. If I eat everything, it's just over a thousand calories, about a thousand fifty calories on the whole plate. So I'm gonna eat half the rice, half the beans, save myself about two hundred calories right there. Divide it right in half. There we go. So my club, pepper jack cheese, no mayo, no extra condiments, no mustard, nothing. Meal two, I'm here at Sonic just trying to figure out what the hell to order. They got so much stuff here. These uh, chicken tacos look like they got uh, cheese on it, so I, I bumped it up to three and a half servings. I was using King Taco as a reference. Um, pretty good size here. See, about a week ago I had a little holder here, but see, this is my uh, co-worker here. And I'm going to get him to go on the diet. Perfect little holder there. See, that's the thing you need to get rid of. That's a good thing to get a dive for. You can hold cell phones, <laughs> cigarettes, some vitamin C. Day 11, meal one, Panda Express here in Modesto. <laughs> Didn't eat all the rice. Um, I don't know if that was a full serving or not, but I'm just going to say I ate about three quarters of the serving on the rice. Uh, brings my total meal to about eight, nine hundred calories, I believe. All right, I'm going to have a fortune cookie. Still day 11. I'm going to get meal number two for today. It's about uh, 4.30 p.m. I think I'm going to hit up Wiener Schnitzel and uh, get a couple hot dogs. Uh, probably a couple of the Chicago dogs they have there. Um, just the regular hot dogs are actually lower in calories. I looked it up. It's about 290. Where if you get the uh, Angus beef ones, it brings it up to, I think, 400-ish or somewhere around there. Meal number three, day 11 here at Red Robin. I'm going to get the Simply Grilled Chicken Sandwich with the steak fries. About 800 calories or so. So... We'll top out about 2,200 calories for the day. So it's my cheat day, I can increase it. Just finished breakfast at the hotel. Just had scrambled eggs, a cold bagel, miniature bagel, and uh, half a tub of cream cheese. So just under 400 calories, I believe, with the orange juice too. All right, day 12, meal number two, back at Thai Food Express here in Modesto. Gonna get a light lunch so I can have a bigger dinner later. Iced tea, no calories. Three spring rolls, some peanut dipping sauce. Probably about 400 calories total. These have chicken in it, a little bit of rice noodles, rice wrapper, lettuce, vegetables, carrots. Good stuff in there. Just got Carl's Jr. from the food court. Got a teriyaki burger and crisscross cross fries. Uh, about 1,100 calories total, but I probably won't eat all the fries to get it around 900 to 1,000. Here it is, day 13, meal number one, breakfast at IHOP. And I'm gonna splurge my two pancakes today and actually put some butter pecan syrup, just real light on it. Still gonna eat the butter. Total calculation for this whole meal, about 700 to 750 calories. Okay, here at Burger King in Fresno, um, just ordered the Big King combo, it's equivalent of like a Big Mac. It's uh, about 530 calories for that. And then I got the apple slices, which is 30 calories as a side instead of french fries. Uh, Keep it down to about 550 calories total for this meal. Day 14, I uh, got my first meal here from Dairy Queen. Got myself a strawberry banana smoothie. This is a medium size. 
I'm estimating it's about 300 calories. I've got the uh, turkey grilled sandwich, iron grilled sandwich, and it's a side of fries right there. So total what I calculate right here is about 1150 calories, but I might eat half. Day 14, meal number two, going to Chipotle mix and grill. Hey, for 500 calories, this is pretty filling. It almost seems like more than even a hamburger at McDonald's. So. Day 14, final meal today. Going to go to Del Taco, get a couple uh, chicken tacos, El Carbon, um, and a nice tea. And that will be it for uh, two weeks on my diet. So I'll do my weigh-in tomorrow, and we'll see where I end up after two weeks of uh, watching what I eat. Here is my weigh-in now for day 15 after the first meal of today, which was that jack-in-the-box breakfast. So it has now been officially two weeks since this diet first started. Um, last week when I did the weigh-in up in Modesto, I was roughly about four or five pounds less. Um, so my starting weight at the beginning of this whole thing was 241.4, I believe. So let's see where I am now exactly two weeks from when I started this fast food diet. Two thirty-three point four. Just went to Jack in the Box to get myself breakfast today, uh, midday breakfast. It's my time schedule is all screwed up still. Been uh, kind of resting now that I got back from the desk though. So I decided to get a breakfast Jack and a uh, mango smoothie to go with my meal. Day 16, meal number two. I'm gonna go eat round table pizza at their buffet. I think I can have about three pieces of pizza on this one. Got a garden salad here with balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Probably the Dressing is about 45 calories, salad probably 10 to 20 calories by itself. Each slice of pizza here, about 230 calories each. And I'm gonna have three of them. So it's about a 700 calorie meal for me for lunch and then uh, unsweetened iced tea. Just had uh, meal number three on day 16 of Subway. Uh, sweet onion chicken teriyaki with a Diet Coke and baked Lay's chips. Um, total about 1,900 calories for the day. Day 17, uh, I'm hitting up In-N-Out Burger for my first meal of the day. Uh, I'm going to actually get a double-double with no spread. That's about 590 calories. I'm going to get an order of their fries, another 340 calories, a little bit of ketchup, and uh, unsweetened iced tea. So my total meal should come in just under 1,000 calories, about 990 to 1,000 calories. So I'm going to have a big meal for meal one and then two smaller meals later on in the day. Day 17, meal number two, Chipotle. Got the three chicken tacos here on uh, corn tortillas with lettuce, fajita vegetables, uh, grilled chicken, of course, and cheese. Um, total for this is about 535, 540 calories for the three tacos and then an unsweetened iced tea. So it's actually a pretty good sized meal for the amount of calories, so pretty good option. Also, just to let you guys know, one bag of their chips here is the same amount of calories as this whole thing. Meal number three for day 17 came in at a total of about 1980 as far as calories go for today, so just under 2,000. I'm gonna have my first meal finally today, it's about two o'clock. Uh, we got, got Costco pizza. Um, it says for pepperoni, it's 680 calories for one sixth of a pizza, so that's roughly maybe about two, two and a half slices right here. This is a, a half of a pizza, so a third of that would be a six, so about two to three pieces, so that's what I'm gonna have. Um, and also a Diet Coke, and that's what I'm going to eat for uh, meal number one today on day 18. Day 18, meal number two, I'm going to head to McDonald's. Just finished up uh, work for today at Burbank, so. Figured out my Dunkin' Donuts. It came out to 540 calories for that, uh, 130 for the uh, hash browns, and um, 410, I believe, for the turkey sausage flatbread. So 540 calories for breakfast. Now I'm going uh, for meal number two up here in Burbank. I'm just going to go to Subway. I'm not sure what I'm going to order yet, so I'll kind of look at the menu and figure something out. It is day number 20, and I'm going to have meal number one here, right uh, about 12.30, 1 o'clock right now. Went to El Pollo Loco, got the 500 or less calorie um, two enchilada meal, chicken enchiladas, rice, and side of broccoli. It is 450 calories. I got their Gold Peak um, passion fruit and mango unsweetened iced tea, so it's Barely any calories, maybe five or six calories total for this whole serving. So uh, 450 calories for my first meal. Habit Burger food is here. Got my charbroiled teriyaki burgers. Got the pineapple, the patty, ungrilled lettuce, no sauce, some pickles. So about 510 calories, maybe a little bit more. Not sure. Right around 510, I would say 520. These are the tempura green beans. Look at that. Only 250 calories. Great alternative to fries, about half the calories. 
I haven't tried them yet, but I'm gonna try them. Maybe gonna use ketchup, I'm not sure if that's good with it or not, but we'll try. And my unsweetened citrus uh, green tea. All right, that's meal two, day 20. Habit burger, about 780 calories. Puts me at about 1450 for the day. It is still day 20. Um, got home a little while ago, and now I'm just planning my last meal. I'm gonna hit up the typical fast food place, McDonald's. Um, this time, actually, I'm gonna get a happy meal, so a kid's meal, because they actually are fairly low in calories because they're for smaller people, but it's actually a, a good quick choice if you're in a rush and can't sit here and add calories up. I'm just gonna go with a simple uh, four-piece nugget uh, Happy Meal. Day 21, this is the last day of week number three. Uh, I'm gonna get my first meal for today. Gonna go back to Dunkin' Donuts again. Kinda like it, because anytime I go to New York, they got them all over the East Coast and I love it, but they don't have them here on the West Coast till now. So, gonna go Dunkin' Donuts. I'll probably actually get a donut today and probably like a bagel or some kind of meal type item. All right, that's it. Meal two is finished, um, a total of 1,400 calories for today. This meal about 600, 610 calories. Well, that's about it for the 21st day of my uh, fast food diet here. Um, just got to finish up the rest of the spring roll. And that's it for day 21. It is now officially three weeks since this diet has started. I am doing my weigh in a little more earlier than I usually do. Usually I do at three o'clock. But I only had my meal about an hour and a half because I have to get on the road here and uh, head up to Burbank. So uh, last week when we did the weigh-in, I was, uh, I believe, 233.4, so 8 pounds less than uh, when I started at 241.4. So it's uh, week three. Let's see where I weigh in right now. Yeah, can I get an Egg White Delight McMuffin, uh, small orange juice, and a fruit and oatmeal? Meal two on day 22. Got myself some Subway here. Got the Subway Club. Gonna try the uh, the grilled beef taco here, or grilled steak taco. Sorry. Day 23, meal number two, Panda Express. Uh, I'm gonna not sure what I'm gonna get yet, but I'll figure it out when I get in there. Grilled chicken teriyaki here, 300 calories. Sweet fire chicken, 380 calories, and mixed vegetables is my side. Only 80 calories, so. Just under about 800 calories total for this meal. That was meal number two on day 23 at Patent Express. Puts me at 1,668 calories for the day. It's day 24, going to get meal number one, my breakfast today. I'm actually up early enough. It's about 9.30 right now in the morning. So I'm going to do the Carl's Jr. breakfast today. Going to get a bacon and egg burrito. It's a nice mild broth here with um, sesame seeds, mushrooms, onions, some other vegetable stuff, chicken. And uh, soba noodles, of course. Try the turkey cranberry flatbread sandwich. It's like turkey, a little bit of spinach leaves, and some juicy runny cranberry stuff coming out of it. So that was meal number two for day 24 at Panera Bread. Totaled about 700 calories, so it puts me at just around 1,400 calories so far for day 24. It is day 25. It's Sunday, so it is a cheap day. I'm going to increase my calories a little bit or a lot today. I'm not sure yet. I might try to hit about 2,400 calories, just kind of boost it up uh, about 400 calories more than I normally do. Um, doing McDonald's again, it's easy, I love it. I got the uh, Egg White Delight McMuffin, 250 calories, fruit and maple oatmeal, 290 calories, and a small orange juice, 150 calories. Total for this meal is 690 calories. It is day 26, gonna get meal number one right now. Um, I figured I would go to Starbucks this time. I don't normally go there, but I know they do have breakfast items or food items throughout the day. So I'm gonna see what they have and uh, get a few items from there if uh, the calories count right. And uh, probably like a just unsweetened tea. Day 26, meal number two is Costco. Went and got the beef brisket sandwich from them right here. Um, it is 710 calories, so pretty high calories on there. And just a diet Pepsi, because it's the only no calorie option that they actually have there. They don't have unsweetened tea. They do have iced tea, but it's the sweetened one with a lot of sugar in it. And the other option is the uh, Tropicana Light Lemonade, which I'm not sure what the calories are on that. So this meal, 500 or 710 calories, will put me at 1350 for the day. Pizza, I'm, I'm eating the hot right. dog. I might have a little slice, but I gotta do the calorie count on that, but I'm gonna start with the hot dog. Very good, the buns are delicious.
So that was meal number two on day 27, um, coming in at just under 600 calories. Puts me at the day at uh, 1,285 calories so far, so I'm gonna find a meal later on tonight for meal number three, around five to 600 calories. 29, meal number two went to uh, Andre's, this little like Chinese food place across the street here. Uh, got the Kung Pao chicken with white rice. Day 29, meal number three is l, &L Hawaiian barbecue. Got the miniatures, uh, Local mocha with egg, little macaroni, rice, hamburger patty, and some gravy. That totals out at 370 calories. A spam musubi right here, spam rice and a seaweed wrap. That totals at uh, 293 calories. And then an unsweetened iced tea, zero calories. I got my uh, no sugar added mocha from Krispy Kreme finally. I believe it's 160 calories for the large. Medium fries. 340 calories and the artesian chicken sandwich 360 calories so and then iced tea so a 700 calorie lunch for meal number two on day 30. I'm here for my final meal at Carl's Jr. I'm gonna get the teriyaki uh, turkey burger and a side salad instead of fries and then an unsweetened iced tea and I'm gonna have the balsamic vinaigrette dressing for the side salad and put my total meal at under uh, 600 calories I believe around 590 so that will be the final meal of my 30 day diet. I'm gonna shave this beard off and then see uh, what I weigh in tomorrow morning when I get up and we'll see what the uh, results are after 30 days of uh, pretty much a fast food diet. It has been just over six months now. I still continued for the last five months after my full month on that I have in the documentary here of fast food. I've been doing it probably about 80, 90% of my meals have still been fast food. Once in a while I'll make a home cooked meal just when I felt like it. Um, I think I'm right at 50 pounds now. I've got a flat stomach going on. Um, no more big belly. And let me do my weigh in right now. 191.5. So that's just over 50 pounds that I've lost uh, here in just over six months. So that's actually pretty good on just a fast food only diet with uh, no exercise at all. Uh, I'm going to probably continue to lose another 15, 20 pounds and then I'm going to be done because that should be right where my BMI is supposed to be technically. So um, I'll just see how I feel and just keep on continuing and I'll do an update later.